Welcome back, Fiber Friends. Today, we're turning this single bobbin of yarn into a three ply with a chain ply. So first things first, we are going to be putting this on a Lazy Kate. Again, you can use your own made at home DIY Lazy Kate. I do find that having a Lazy Kate to hold the yarn will make things a lot easier, especially when chain plying. Now, at the core of it, at least in my opinion, chain plying is essentially a giant crochet chain. So if you crochet, this is going to seem pretty intuitive to you. Personally, when I ply, I like to have my yarn behind me and slightly to the left, but everybody's different. Last tip before we start chain plying is that if you are a beginner, or even if you're a seasoned chain plier and you still struggle to get into a bit of a rhythm, I might recommend changing your whirl size. So this is going to change your ratio, i.e. the amount of twist per treadle you add to the yarn. So I'm recommending that if you have one about this size that you, you size up. I have uh, my slow whirl. This is a super slow whirl. So this one's extra slow if I wanted to slow things down even more. But uh, I do have my slow whirl on my shack to demonstrate this today to make it even easier for us. Now, think back earlier to when I compared this to crochet. We are going to take a single of yarn that we have here coming off of our bobbin. We're going to turn it into a loop and we are going to put this loop <laughs> through our leader loop, okay? So what we're going to have here is a loop and then you're going to have two pieces. You'll have your tail, right? And then the piece of yarn that is feeding back from the bobbin, all right? This is, this is how we're going to start our chain ply. I'm going to start by adding some twist. And I know that this first section is going to almost have four plies to it because we're trapping the tail in, but this is just how we start. And we're going to make sure that we, we've trapped the tail. We have our loop here. And then we have, again, the piece of yarn from the bobbin. We are going to take that piece of yarn and feed it through the loop and create a new loop. Right? Reach through that loop and pull the string through from your bobbin. And again, you're going to just do that over. You're going to keep feeding through and making loops with that new fresh piece of yarn and then letting the twist enter it. One of the most important aspects of chain plying is to try to not let too much twist enter that loop before you've pulled the next loop through. I'm going to be posting a second video with more tips and tricks, so hit that follow button.